How is it going guys? We are gonna be installing our first modifications to the WRX today. If you guys are curious on what happened to the leg, there was some Sunday League soccer shenanigans and my ankle may be fractured or it could just be a bad sprain. The x-rays were inconclusive because there was so much swelling, but it feels a whole lot better than it did. So I think we're gonna be okay. I just have to deal with this boot for a while, uh, but we're gonna be installing a few different parts on the car today. I'm super excited to start modifying this and making it look a little bit better. We're not gonna do anything too crazy yet but uh, let's take a look at the first thing we're installing so clearly we need to do something about the rear end of this car but I just told you I don't want to start off by doing anything too crazy like paint matching the rear bumper I want to do something that you guys could easily do at home so we're gonna be installing a duckbill spoiler This is the Aeroflow Dynamics Kogeki V3 duckbill spoiler. Now, the reason why I went with this particular one is because I think it adds some much needed height to the trunk to help fix the, the ratio of painted to unpainted surfaces. I also really enjoy the smooth curved lines it adds instead of sharp angular lines, but that's completely subjective. There's a lot of different options out there to choose from. What we're gonna do first is test fit this on the car to make sure it, one, fits properly and two to figure out where we need to align it to get the perfect fitment. All right, let's take a look here. Carefully place this on here and pay attention to the alignment. All right, that looks about right. Let's see the fitment here. Ooh, that looks pretty damn good over here. Yeah, the fitment is looking really good. No huge gaps anywhere, so that's great to see. And I've got sort of a mental picture of where it needs to be. If you're really worried about it, you can put some blue painters tape down on the edges to make sure it goes where you want it to go. But uh, I think I can do this pretty easily. I'm gonna give the area a quick wipe down. Now, if you're using quick detail you want to make sure it's not leaving any sort of uh, wax or anything like that that could mess with the adhesion of that double-sided tape I want to make sure that the this doesn't come flying off on the highway <laughs> what I don't do when I go to install things like this is peel all the backing off the double-sided tape what I suggest you do is just peel a little bit off one of the corners if I can get it while holding the camera here and then you kind of just fold it out to an area where you can pull the backing off when you have the piece aligned where you want it. That way you don't just stick it on there and then it gets stuck where you don't want it and then you have to pull the whole thing off and it's just a pain in the butt. So just peel off a little bit and create a tab for yourself to pull the rest off once you have the piece on the car. I kind of fold it over like an ear here and that way it stays pointed towards the outside and we can pull it once we get this placed on the car. Same thing on this side, just a little bit. And last one. All right, let's try not to screw this up. Here goes nothing, guys. And with just a little bit peeled back, it sticks just enough where it doesn't move once you get it where you want it. I think I've got it aligned. Yep, I'm gonna press down so the exposed 3M sticks and then we can start peeling. If I remember which way I peeled this. <laughs> Oh, that's 
so satisfying. The fitment on this is freaking spectacular, guys. Look at that fitment. Look at the gap there. And look at how uniform it is all across the backside. And let me hobble my way on over here. Look at that. 10 out of 10 on fitment on this. Let's talk about the paint match. Now with aftermarket parts, I never have high hopes for the paint match being good, but I gotta say this looks almost spot on. Uh, especially on white cars, it's difficult, but I think because this is a ceramic white instead of a pearl white, it's a little bit easier, but it looks like it looks like an OEM paint match piece. I don't know, you guys tell me. I think it looks damn good. After seeing it on the car, it just reiterates my reasoning. It adds that height to the trunk and makes it so the black plastic of the bumper isn't so overwhelming. Yes, it's a subtle difference, but it's certainly noticeable compared to when there was nothing on the car. Let me know what you guys think, but I think it is a great addition. It fits perfectly and it was super easy to install. The second thing we're gonna take care of are these wheels. No, we're not installing aftermarket wheels quite yet. We're stuck with the stock 17s for a little bit, but what I hate most about the stock wheels is the wheel fitment. These are a 17 by nine with a plus 55 offset, which means it sits really far inside the wheel well and it just looks sunken in there. Same thing in the front. If I go to the edge of the fender here, you can see it just sinks in there and that makes the wheels look smaller and it amplifies the wheel gap. So this car looks like a monster truck. So what we're gonna do is get the carpet in the air, get the wheels off, and we're gonna install some wheel spacers and I'm gonna show you a before and after. Dang it guys, I literally just washed the car before filming this video and of course, a bird decides to disrespect me and show its dominance over me. Ugh. We're gonna start in the rear first cause it's easy to get the jack under there. Break these loose. Now I see that there's some OEM wheel locks on here. I've heard some horror stories about that, so hopefully these don't break. Hopefully these don't break. Oh, they're a lot tighter than the other ones that are on there. Oh my God. Oh God, guys. I may have jinxed myself. That does not feel good. Oh, that genuinely does not feel good. Uh, Subaru, why do you do this? That feels so much tighter than the others that I just broke loose. I feel like I'm gonna break this wheel stud. Oh my God. I'm scared to go check the other ones now. <laughs> they, must, they must have just impacted the crap out of these. <sighs> That's so annoying. That lug nut is stuck on there. <laughs> oh boy, we might have to wait on these uh, wheel spacers and I might actually have to do a video on uh, stud replacement, wheel stud replacement. Ugh. All right, we're jumping to the front just to see. I haven't broken any of these loose yet. Let me give you an example of the regular lug nut here. Okay, that didn't take much force. Let's get this socket on there. I'm putting a good amount of weight on here and it's not going anywhere. Oh, I'm gonna hurt my leg. What the f This is why I don't bring my cars to dealerships. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, 
that's so bad. Just for good measure, we're gonna try one more wheel because if it happens again, it can't just be me, right? So again, regular lug nut, just super easy. This one, not going anywhere, literally. It's so over torqued. Ridiculous. Well guys, that definitely didn't go as planned, but at least we got the duckbill spoiler installed. If you guys are interested in this one, I'll leave a link down in the description for you to check out. I wish I could have got the wheel spacers on for you, but if I would have kept trying to get those wheel locks off, I would have 100% snapped a wheel stud and turned this into a long night. So instead I'm gonna call it a night, stop while I'm ahead. It sucks, I don't know if I wanna take the car to my local dealership to see if they'll even fix it. But I'm probably not gonna be touching the wheels for a little bit. It's okay, we'll take care of it eventually. We have plenty of other things to do to the car. I'm really excited to start modifying this thing. So let me know what you guys want to see next. And if you enjoyed the video, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. <sighs> That's so annoying. I can just feel that it's, that lug nut is stuck on there. <laughs>